Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity! Let's go finish our business in Detroit. Let's see, the first thing I want to do, yeah, I forgot to connect some power to some of the zones around here. But this should take care of, I think, everything. But maybe extend some extra power lines just to be sure. And then I think we've got everything there. I would also like to build a whole bunch of police stations around here to help deal with the crime in the middle of the city, most notably where all of the residential and commercial zones will be located. So just make sure we get some power going to those and that ought to be good. And then, okay, so yeah, now let's start filling in some of these spaces with our police station. So I'm not going to fill in every single tile around here. Why don't we get one over there? Let's see, I think we got one around by the... Ah, there we go. Yeah, by the industrial zones, but we might as well get this one hooked up and block some of the pollution, I guess. And th there, yeah. Then let's get one over there. That ought to be... Well, let's get one over here, too. And then, okay, that ought to be good enough for the middle of the city. Let's see how everything is handled on the other side of the river. Keep an eye on residential zones, spawning schools and hospitals. We don't need any more of those. We've got enough. Okay, so let's see. Let's check on how power distribution is looking. Okay, good, good. I think we got everything except the uh, seaport, the airport, which I want to be disconnected. Looks like I missed a couple zones over here, too. Whoops. But, uh, get one more there. Okay, yeah, that ought to be good then. So, yeah, most of the residential zones should develop into mid or upper tier zones. Not that I especially care about that. I All I really care about is the, uh, the population that they give. I'm not going to optimize for, like, C-tops or R-tops. That is well beyond the scope of what I want to do with the city. One thing we do need to do in order to complete the scenario is build it up into a metropolis and I'm gonna need to get that extra population so I have the funding for all of my police departments because there's still a lot more that I want to build unfortunately the condition or the main condition for clearing the scenario is to reduce the crime to a certain level in your city so it's not as simple as, you know, just putting police departments by residential and commercial zones that really don't care about that. No. Now, we gotta get rid of it as much as we can, even in the industrial zones. And I am not going to be able to get rid of all crime in the city. I just don't have enough income or tax revenue or people to pay taxes to pay for all the police departments that I would like to build. So, I will build what I can. Looks like we're still losing money on the year. Well, let's see how everything else is looking here. Okay, so yeah, we've still got quite a bit of work to do. Not a problem with the housing costs in this city. And, okay, so let's see how we're doing with crime now. Okay, so, yeah, in general, pretty good. We've got police departments almost everywhere that I would need. Maybe get one over here somewhere. I want to try and hold on to some of my cash, though. That way, I can have some leftovers for if I'm not generating a profit in the year, like, last year, though at this point populations should start to take off because, yeah, we got high industrial demand. Once we get that going, people will move to the city to well, get jobs and everything. I'm keeping the tax rate 
at 7% for now. But eventually I will want to increase it up to 8% once we get, like, zone demand pretty high there. Other than industrial zones, the city has way too many of them. And we have way too many people to create a metropolis. Very nice. Yeah, let's wait for a little more demand there. Now, let's actually increase the tax rate to 8%. And I think that's about as high as I want to go. If I did 9%, then I'd probably start losing demand on commercial zones. I'm not worried about, like, sea tops though, or anything like that, like my regular cities. I just want to keep residential and commercial demand high, because they have the most, uh, what was that? They have the most population per zone. So I figured fill out the middle of the map as much as I can. Get rid of any schools or hospitals that we need to get out of the way. But yeah, we're getting a lot of people in the city now. Okay, so we got all those. Those are good. Just make sure they don't turn into a school or a hospital. Okay, we are good to go then. Let's keep this going through the end of the year. And maybe if we make enough money, I could build some more police departments. You don't really need to get rid of all crime in the city in order to complete it. Just get it down to a remotely reasonable level. Okay, looks like I can build a couple more. So, let's see what we got. Okay, so, why don't we start down here? We could use quite a bit of help on that side. Okay, so let's build one pretty close to the commercial zones there. Oop, there we go. And then, let's see. I think I'm going to build one right here. That might help out some of the residential zones over here, at least. And eventually, I may replace more of the schools and hospitals with residential zones. But for now, let's just leave the rest there. I just need to get a profit going per year with the uh, taxes. So yeah, industrial zone demand crashed. And now, yeah, we don't have enough jobs for people, so... Commercial demand is coming down. We need a lot more residential zones in the city. Well, maybe not a lot more, but uh, more nonetheless. But yeah, we just got way too many industrial zones there. I'm not going to bulldoze them, but... You know, they generate a lot of crime and everything, too, so... Well, I mean, they don't generate crime. They generate pollution, which reduces land value. And that increases crime. But yeah, don't worry about getting all of the zone types at maximum demand in this city. It would require way too much effort. Like, more than I've already done. Well, it took me two... Or, yeah, two videos just to get the ball rolling here. Holy cow. All right, now we're starting to generate a pretty decent profit. So let's see how we're doing now. Ah, much better. There we go. But I still want to do a little more with the pollution in the city. So let's see, why don't we get over here? Yeah, this is the one city where I mapped out the whole city in 8x8 regions for determining how many police departments to build so I get enough coverage around the entire city. And even then, it's not enough, but, well, it'll get the job done. Okay, let's extend the roads a little bit to the new police department over there. Maybe that will help with the residential demand uh, dealing with the crime in the area that is okay looks like we're doing good there 
I like to go with the slower speed whenever I build new zones. So that way the power updates, or the power distribution updates a little more quickly that way. But, uh, okay, how are we doing on police departments? Very nice. Eventually, I want to build up to 23 police departments. And you don't have to build all of this stuff now. In fact, it's probably bad that I'm doing it now because I have to pay for the upkeep on all of the police departments throughout the city. Or, well, the funding for them, that is. So you could wait until the very last year of the city, then build all your police departments with the money that you have, and solve the problem right at the very end. But I'm not going to be doing that here. I just want to take things one step at a time, get a decent handle on crime at least. I'm going to build some more around here while we're at it. Okay, that ought to be good. And don't worry about traffic. We got some rails around here at least. Okay, I need to extend the rails just a little bit around here. And then with the police, let's see, I could probably get one over here. Yeah, that ought to be good. Get that one connected. Whew, barely had enough money for that. Yeah, leave the airport closed. Or at least without power. I don't need planes crashing into my nuclear power plants again. Or shipwrecks because I didn't build the bridges maybe as spread out as might be needed. Yeah, we're just too far from the center of the city for these residential zones to develop. These ones might be able to, though. We're not quite as far from the actual center of the city. Where is the center, anyway? Okay, so... Yeah, I know where I want to build my next police department. Yeah, so we're not that far from that area. So this area is a little far. But, uh, for now... Yeah, why don't we keep an eye on things over here? The crime is not that low on this side of the city. Because the population density is relatively low. I don't know why zones like you saw that residential zone in the middle there. Like, just appeared to lose power. Even though I clearly had power lines connected to it. Weird things like that start happening when your city gets sufficiently large. Might be able to get up to 150,000 people here. More than enough income to get the job done. Just need a few more police departments. Just leave everything at 8%. That'll be more than enough. We gotta get this done by 1982. And then we'll see if I got rid of enough crime. Okay, we got a police department there. I could use one up here, though. Well, looks like I can only build one. Okay, so let's see where crime is doing the most damage, at least right now. Hmm. Might be better to go down here. Yeah, why don't we go with this one next? See if I build a police department right here. That should be good enough. Maybe I could have or should have gotten rid of the industrial zones here. I mean, we already have too many as it is. But yeah, just I figured just leave it there and maybe have some more valid destinations for the residential zones in the area. Maybe I could put some parks around here to help with the residential development. Okay, how are we looking now? Okay, pretty good on the crime over here, at least. Okay, two more police departments. That ought to be all that I will need for the city. 
then let's go fast forward! Um, the fastest in-game speed. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to look on the list here. Okay, so, yeah. We got a few more schools and hospitals to remove, eventually. That is not a high priority. I don't need to do that in order to succeed in the scenario. But maybe get a little more people. Oh, it looks like zone demand is clearing, clearing up now. At least industrial zone demand isn't totally crashing. Maybe I'll reduce the tax rate to 7% when I've got all the money that I'll ever need for the remaining remainder of the city. Just enough so that I can get to the end without losing all my money. Whoop. Uh, no, let's keep on going there with that. I'm surprised so many of the schools and hospitals are hanging on with relatively little residential development around here. Okay, so with all that, yeah, we can build the last of the police departments, I believe. Let's see where I'll need them. Okay, so... I think I've already gotten all the ones, or well, most of them around here. I need that one, though. And then, okay, we got one there, there. Okay, we got these two. Trying to, ah, there it is. This is where I need the last one. That should reduce crime enough to get the job done. Basically, the way the game works with that part as far as crime goes, is it takes the average crime of every 2x2 two two region throughout the city, and if that number is uh, low enough, then you succeed in the scenario. So, police coverage is divided into 8x8 eight eight regions, but crime is based on 2x2. Two two. Yeah, there's a bunch of things that are covered by 2x2, two 4x4, two, 8x8. Eight eight. Pollution is 2x2 two two as well. Land value is both 2x2 two two and 4x4. Four four. That gets a little confusing. Hey, why don't we connect these? Just to make my OCD happy. Gotta have a backup plan. Okay, how is crime looking now? Okay, not bad, not bad. As long as we get rid of most of the red in the city, that should be good enough. It bothers my OCD that I cannot remove all crime in the city. Not within 10 years without, like, a money cheat and starting from scratch, practically. And we got no gifts to help out as well. Okay, so why don't we start fi finishing up, get rid of those schools and hospitals, and get some residential zones around here. I'm thinking if I might want a commercial zone there. I don't think so. We've got the police department that could serve as a valid destination. So we'll just leave that alone. We got a whole bunch of these guys around here. Holy cow! Don't know why they're all so clustered up like that, but I will take what I can get. Okay, so we should be sufficiently far from the industrial zones for these to develop or for these to go. Ah, okay, we're out of uh, money. Okay, well, we didn't get them all, but I'll take what I can get. How are we looking here? Okay. Do we have power to everything we should? Okay, good, good. So, we'll just let these ones develop a little more. But you don't have to do that. I just want... Honestly, I just want something to do. <laughs> that might be remotely useful. Maybe. Well, that's a good spot for a 
hospital is a, as a figure it could be with all those industrial zones over there but the middle of the city yeah we're out of room there so just take what you can get but otherwise yeah well over 150,000 residents that should be more than enough well at least the population is relatively uh, well the density is relatively low so we wouldn't like create very high land values and then yeah around here we don't need to worry about valid destinations with all the police departments and residential zones around but yeah, pretty much once you've gotten the 23 police departments, that's really all you're ever going to need. Let's see, down there, why don't we uh, build some commercial zones next to the residential ones there, or well, the industrial ones are what would concern me. Okay, let's get all of this connected. And that ought to be good. Oh, right. Slow down there. Uh, game? There you go. Yeah, it can be a little slow, even on the slowest in-game speed for the game to update things, because, well, the city's so big and not very well optimized. But, well... It's a scenario, and we're not going to be hanging around for very much longer. I think I'll lower the taxes to 7% next year. The, uh, well, the penultimate year of this scenario. Well, so much for those commercial zones. Not really much for them to develop. Well, at least the residential zones are doing okay. I'm actually surprised they are usually in the north east of the city. Oh, yeah, we got all these industrial zones. I was going to remove that hospital, and I probably could and build a residential there. But I'm a little tight on cash, so why don't we just wait a little bit on that? We got time. But yeah, we're not going to be developing this city, like, into a megalopolis or anything like that. Okay, so with that, lower taxes just a little bit. So if you haven't built your, all of the police departments yet, viewers, this would be the time. Why don't we get a commercial zone there? That might be able to develop reasonably well. Yeah, not so much for... Oh, we got a hospital. Die! And, yeah, slow things down a little. Get all the power distributed. Looks like we're good. Last year! Let's see how this goes. This better work. <laughs> because... Yeah, sometimes I've run this scenario and... I didn't have maybe enough police departments and yeah it's just so much time to invest in a city to end up with not succeeding but unfortunately in game they don't really tell you the numbers that you need I think the average crime value needs to be like below 80 in order to succeed in the scenario empty spaces do not count I mean as long as like the whole 4x4 region is untouched they don't count so I couldn't just like demolish all of the low residential zones around here to get the job done no, no it doesn't work that way Now, one last test here, 
Hmm. I'm surprised. I, I forgot actually to disable the auto go to. Oh, right, because I didn't power up the airport. I was going to say I'm surprised that I never got like a helicopter or something telling me, hey, you got heavy traffic here or something. But, uh, yeah, they'll just send you, like, to the other side of the city or something. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad there. How are we looking here? Well, we'll see what happened with crime. If this isn't good, that would be a problem. Got that. Hey! All right. Well, with that complaint about the crime there, I was worried that maybe I didn't quite do enough. But all right, we took care of Detroit. Now we've got a couple of, well, much easier scenarios up ahead there. How do we deal with a nuclear meltdown? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.